Hello, this is Tad Dows from Drones in School here today to talk to you about how to update your video transmitter on the Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD Zero that we use as our workhorse. So, what you'll see here, this is a Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD Zero version with Express LRS and the USB C. You can tell it's the Express LRS because it has USB C. All of the uh, old versions have USB micro here or mini so we know we have the right one you also know it's current because you got HD zero on the camera all right so that way you know the difference so just so you understand uh, this drone a lot of people don't realize but when you look at this aircraft there's actually two boards on here there's a board on top this is your flight controller and then underneath you see a board. A lot of people think, oh, okay, well, I'm looking at that's the top and that's the bottom. But actually, this is a separate PCB, okay? It's a separate board here, and that is your video transmitter. So if you took this apart, this is what it would look like, all right? So here we have our flight controller. This is where your motors plug in, and it has the USB-C port, has your power lead on there. And then there's a set of wires that go between, uh, through the frame, that connect to this guy that's on the bottom and this is your HD0 video transmitter. This is unique on the HD0 aircraft, your regular analog, it's all built into this one flight controller, but on these the video transmitter is separate. Alright, so what we want to do today is we want to show you how to update the firmware on this board. So we're going to do it on the actual drone so you can see, but I wanted you to understand what's inside that drone. Also when you work on this, you'll be careful. Obviously these are pretty fragile wires and you could resolder them, but obviously be very careful because uh, those all have a certain place where they go. We have the red and black or the power and then we have the signal that's sent here to control this video transmitter through the flight controller. All right. So that's what we're working on today. All right, so here we go. We've got our drone, right? And we want to make sure that the firmware is updated. So there's a few things we're going to need to update the firmware on that video transmitter. And this is, uh, again, unique to the HD0 aircraft. Uh, first thing you're going to need, which is going to probably seem odd until we get into it, is you're going to need your, your goggles, okay? So your HD0 goggles. I think probably any goggle would work, but the one that comes with your drone is the one we're working with today. So we're going to need those, and we'll need to have those charged up. So make sure you have those charged up. We're also going to need a couple of wires that came in your kit when you got it from Emacs. Okay, One of which is this little adapter right here. This is probably in pieces. So I'll go ahead and take it apart so you can see what it looks like when it's in pieces. You have a black wire, You've got this really tiny, fine wire that we're going to need. And then we've got this little adapter, okay, that goes between the two. And that's exactly how this works. They're kind of the same on both ends, so just got to figure out how it goes together. They'll only go one way, so make sure that gets pushed all the way in there. Careful you don't pull on the wires too much. And then we'll take our other adapter here and plug that in on the other end of that board. Again, it only fits one way, so if you start to push it in, pull that back out carefully. If you start to push it in and you're like, that just doesn't seem to fit, it's probably not the right way. So flip it over and pull up, push it all the way in until it seats completely. Should look like that, okay? The last thing you're going to need for this process is you're going to need a micro SD card. Right? And that's going to have your firmware when we put this in. All right? So we're going to get all those things, and we're going to slide over here to get the files that we need. So to get what we need, we're going to go to hd-0.com, and we're going to go into support and click on their download link. And here we have firmware. So we have goggle firmware, flight configurator, 
video transmitter firmware, VRX firmware, etc. All right, and we are looking for VTX firmware. Now you'll see here we have different versions of the VTX firmware, and we're going to use version 2024.923 is when that was released. And then we're just going to click that download link and that will download that file to your downloads folder. So this is a zip file and we're going to go ahead and unzip that. When we do, it creates another folder for us and then we open that folder we'll see all the different versions of the video transmitter. And the one we want in this particular case is the Whoop Light VTX. Okay, that's the file that we need. Now you also notice that we unzipped this original download that created a folder, and then in that folder are a bunch of new zipped files. All right, so when I open that up, and double click on that, it will unzip, and I will get this hd0tx.bin file. That is the file I need, okay? So what I need to do now is I need to take that hd0 transmitter bin file that I got from the whoop light zip, okay? I, all the rest of these, I don't need. I can just delete those. None of the rest of those am I going to need for anything I'm going to do with this drone. So I can just get rid of those, click delete, move it to my trash, whatever it is. Right? So these are the only two files I'm ever going to need for updating my HD0 video transmitter on my Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 Plus HD0 aircraft. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I want to get this file, the bin file, and I'm going to put that in that micro SD card that I had. Now I named mine Emacs, so that way I know it, what it's for. I just keep this little card set aside. I labeled it Emacs, and I keep it in my uh, kit whenever I go on the road, so that way I have what I need. But for you, it doesn't really matter. You just need to get that file, my bin file. I get that file in the main folder or the root folder of that SD card. Okay, so when I click on the SD card, I should see that file. Doesn't really matter what else is in there too much. It pretty much ignores everything except that bin file. Once that's there, I can eject my card and get ready for the update process. Okay, so now we're ready to hook all this together and make this work. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get access to the connection port on our video transmitter. So I'm gonna take this apart. Now the first thing I'll need to do is kind of free up this uh, power lead. So I'll take my screwdriver and just carefully pry those open a little bit. There's little hooks on there. Some people just like to cut them off, but I just like to open them up a little, just so the wire can get through. And that's all I have to do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out these screws on the bottom. Make sure I don't lose them, make sure I don't drop them. Once I get those out, then I'm going to just carefully take these wires, the power lead wires, and just kind of pull those carefully again. Be very careful. Don't go too crazy. Just unhook those from that battery tray, and then that whole battery tray just comes off. I just set that aside over here with my screws. Now, I can see the video transmitter. Now again, remember there's wires that hold this together, so I don't need to take the whole thing off. All I have to do is access this little port right here. All right, that's all I need. And this wire is going to plug into that port. It only goes one way. I think it goes, when you look at this, you've got the wire colors on one side. I think those go towards the PCB. I'm not really sure, don't remember takes steady hands, tiny hands to do this. It's not too hard, just got to plug it in. Okay, I'm just going to take my fingernail and kind of push on the plastic, not on the wire itself. I don't want to damage those wires. 
So that should seat down in there and look like that. I don't know how you can see that in the camera. But that's what it should look like when it's all set. That's all I have to do. I don't have to take, unplug it any more than that. That's it. Okay, now, phase two. I'm gonna take my HG0 Emacs transporter screen, and I could have the whole goggles on there, but all I need is really just a screen. And I'm gonna plug the other end of that wire into that port right here on the side. Now again, this it only goes one way, so don't force it. A lot of people like start to push and then jam it in there. All right, you'll break it. Just take it easy. It goes in. So you look at the the wire pins. When you see those, when you look at the screen, that's the correct orientation, and that will go all the way flush. So if you see it and you you push it in, again, let me show you an example of putting it in backwards. So if you push it in like that. And you're like, yep, it's in. If it's not flush, right, you probably have it in backwards or you didn't push it in far enough. So that goes all the way in, flush with the side of the case so it doesn't stick out. Lastly, I'm going to take and put my micro SD card that I just set up into the micro SD port on my screen. Now what's gonna happen is when I turn on my goggles, it's gonna read that card, it's gonna say, uh-oh, there's firmware on there we need to update. It's gonna send that firmware through this wire into my video transmitter in my drone. It's also gonna delete the file from the SD card. So if I try to do it again, I gotta reload that SD file on there. But when I know that if I put that back in my computer and I see that the file's gone, then I know it did it correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on so you can see what happens. Go ahead and power it up. There it goes. And it will flash. It'll say, boom, updated. That's it. Pretty easy. You also see a red light. I don't know if you saw that on uh, the board there. A little red light comes on my video transmitter board. Let me know that it's powered up. So that's it. You're all done. So I wiggle these out. Carefully. Put my screws back in and it is updated. All done. And that's how you update your video transmitter on your Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 HD0. <laughs>